Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about ARP or Resolution Protocol. I'm sorry, Address Resolution Protocol. So now we are know that what what is the exact meaning of ARP record uh, Address Resolution Protocol. So what is the use of the ARP? What is the use of the ARP? We are know that. So now uh, the ARP it's it's connecting with the two or more com combinations. It's the same network or different network. Uh, different 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 networks also we are know that so now we are first first now we are in first step so now we are first what we are know what we are the what we are what, what is the exact meaning of route on uh, ARP and what is the uh, basic functionality of that okay fine so now we are going to move topic so now what is ARP so we are uh, now we are going to theoretically after that we will see that practically we are know that what is ARP so now uh, we are going to move that same network ARP same network okay same NT same network so same network ARP so here is switch and it will connecting with three PCs three PCs have IP addresses 1.1 1.2 and, and here it is 1.3 okay so this is the PCs okay so he, he, now it's configured now it's connected with just now so at the time this PC not know this person this PC not know this person this PC not knowing this person so first we will send the ping request at the time first it will send the ping request means the ping request is not sending the ping, ping request not only contained with this we are know that the OSP OSA model right so this person is this person is a yeah, request center right means at the time it will contain with some combinations of data what is it this is a random data of ping load right or D it's a random data and then ICMP you know the right ICMP it's a protocol of ping so ICMP it's a protocol of ping and then the source IP source IP is 1.3 I'll wrote the right now here 1.3 and destination IP what is it mean destination IP destination IP means this person is wanted to reach whom 1.1 right means so that's the reason behind we will do we will wrote the 1.1 okay so what is the source MAC what is the source MAC and what is the destination MAC address so what is the source MAC means we know that the PC initiate the request means he know the source MAC address right now his source MAC address is 3333 something like that means here it is pasted here 3 333 so here is 3 so after that what is the destination MAC address you know that first so what is the destination MAC address the destination MAC address is filling means after that the ping request will be going and then replay will coming so how will possible to do that what is it what if here the here the PC having the 1.2 MAC address means it will paste it here paste it here sorry here the 1.2 MAC address means this PC pasted here easily but it's really now configured the system so this P, this PC not send any ping packet any uh, request to anyone till now so this is a first request means at the time this destination MAC address is empty so at the time the I'll, I'll explain that here so clearly explain okay, okay fine first 1.3 initiate the request at the time the payload is I'll clearly explain clearly payload is random data here the random data is having a b c d 1 2 3 something like that you know that 1 2 3 also we have to contact the random data right so and then icmp so we are going we are also separate class it will discuss with the icmp class and then the tcp udp classes we are also discuss about the protocol class protocol and port number class we are that time we will discuss about this and just protocols and then source ip and destination ip source ip and destination ip source ip is what 1.3 destination ip is 1.1 okay so after that what is the 
source mac what is the source mac here it is 33333 and the destination mac is you don't know right so the destination mac, mac is the packet is not knowing at the time the arp will happen so the arp request the arp request will happen the arp request will happen means the arp is sending the request to all it's a broadcast okay it's a broadcast so so you know that, right so that's the reason behind this pc is not knowing the destination mac address means here it will sending the broadcast packet here it is sending the broadcast packet to him and then him also sending the broadcast packet so the pa the packet will open with him open open with him and then read the read the packet what is it the destination mac address is not knowing so what is the source what is the, here it is open the first destination mac address and what is the source mac address on what is the destination ip so here it is the destination ip is what is it it is a 1.1 .1 here right so here it is 1.0 you, you are not clear right now so so the destination ip the the 1.2 open the packet the destination ip is 1.1 .1. so at the time the 1.2 will see the 1.1 .1 means at the time it will drop the packet so it will drop and then after that the 1.1 .1 will taking in the packet at the time you will see all these requests and then he opened the packet the destination packet is him so it's mine it's it it's my packet so this one is replying to him this person is replying to him what is the replay the replay will coming up with the mac address the replay will, replay will coming up with the mac, mac address so or replay so a or p or replay or replay it's sending to whom it's a broadcast it's a unicast only so our request means you know you you really not knowing the person who which you are do which you are the destination so now you are our request is sending our replay and re our request and our replay so it's replay means it's, re it's sending to unicast unicast means it's sending to him what it's sending to 1.3 only the packet will be sending on it so that at the time the source ip and destination ip and source mac and destination mac also having here so and then the and then details also here and then the destination ip and then the destination mac address also having here so after that the pc giving pc have that mac address right now so pc so i will clearly explain so the pc having the mac address here right now so after that then after that the place of the mac address is 1 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 the, here it is uh, here we are we are imagine we will imagine the 1.1 smack address is 111 means here it is pasted here after that the ping request will send after that the ping request will send and ping replay will coming on coming up here so so um, this small happened we are we are seeing the small happen so that's that's began here so many stories are there so our request is here so you are you are connecting with the our request means the our request will be registered so now um, now one once 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 you are ping the 1.1 via 1.3 via 1.1 means the 1.3 saved the mac address to 1.1 save the mac address of 1.1 because after that it will reaching means again and again it's sending the R request means it's a resource waste right so again and again it's sending the R request means here it's a broadcast packet and then after that 1.2 it will open and then uh, and then it will dropping and then 1.1 will be sending the unicast packet it's so many so many works are there so that's the reason behind 1.3 it's reaching reaching 1.1 the 1.1 sending the replay means the 1.1 sending also replay mac address also the mac address also saved to 1.3 so here we are going to discuss about um, or hyphen a so we are going to uh, command prompt and then type the command or hyphen a means uh, what are the mac address 1.3 have saved right now that's mac address also appear here this mac address also showing up here so showing up this 
this part so now we are going to clearly explain um, I'll take the one snapshot here okay. so here it is I'll show the same scenario right now so here is a 1.4 so now we know this person so uh, this is a ping request ping request is it's a random data right now it's a random data and then the protocol is icmp right so icmp and then the source ip is here i want to do here it's a source ip it's a 1.4 means i think it's a 1.4 it's a source ip and then the destination ip is 1.2 I'll imagine whatever you, whatever you wanted to discuss about these things it's also. so it said 1.2 I want to do ping at the time what is the source MAC address here it's the source MAC address we are also know that so this is a initiating initiating PC so he is no what is it so it is 444 right now so I'll mention 444 triple four and what is the destination MAC destination MAC is question mark so after that the ping request is sending before that means the app request will be sent the R packer says it will be sent means the sender IP. What is in the sender IP? It's a 1.4. And the sender MAC is triple four, right? Center MAC is triple four. And target IP. What is in the target IP? Target IP is 1.2, right? Here it's a target IP is 1.2. What is a target MAC address? You don't know the MAC address right now here. So what don't know means here it is paste zero 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 so you don't know means if it is zero so source mac what is the source mac source mac is what is it four 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 what is the source mac right and destination mac destination mac address is fff so why it is fff f f f what is mean by f you know that you 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 also watch the map what's the mac address class so what is the fff fff means it's a last mac address of it's a final mac address it's a final mac address means what is the reason between the final mac address you know that already broadcast uh, you know that already uh, the broadcast and then the network address and broadcast address also you know the concept right now here huh? so that's the reason behind so what is the fff means the fff is with the broadcast mac address the broadcast mac address i'll is here it is a broadcast MAC address means every person having the packet every person ha every person it will it will reach the packet that's the reason behind the ARP the ARP request it will sending to everyone the ARP request is sending to him and the ARP request sending to him so what is the reason behind the reason behind this destination FFF destination is FFF means the packet is load the destination is FFF means the PC so okay this is a broadcast packet so that's the reason why it will the pc will open the pc will open and read the packet read the packet and then finally the target ip is 1.2 the finally it will see what is the target ip the target ip is 1.2 means so here it is i am in 1.3 so i want to do i i don't want to do replay him so it will drop it so after that the 1.2 reach the reach the r request the r request is re readable from 1.2 at the time the target ip is 1.2 it's mine so this is my packet so i want to do um so i i must i want to do replay him so that's the reason behind it will sending the it will send the replay so here it is the arp request is a broadcast packet it's a broadcast it's a broadcast packet the arp request is a broadcast packet and then after that what is the arp replay the arp replay is coming from 1.3 right now here so and the R is coming from here what is it 1.1 right so 1.2 sorry the R is coming from so center IP is 1.2 center MAC is 2.2.2 so target IP is 1.4 so here it is a target IP right and then the target MAC target MAC address is what here it is a 1.4 target address, target MAC address is also know that right. So the R request is having the target IP and target MAC right now. So it will sending the unicast package. So sorry. This here it is sending the unicast. 
here it is a broadcast here it is unicast packet unicast packet sending means so I'll draw, draw, the, draw it here clearly okay and then source MAC so what is the source MAC source MAC address of this IP address is 2222 what is the source MAC it's 22 and what is the destination MAC address what is meant by destination MAC address is here it is a MAC address is 444 right now here so it's a destination MAC address so the destination MAC address is him so that's the reason behind that it's a packet is unicast packet the unicast packet sending the unicast packet sending to him and then save the MAC address table save the MAC address table here so this is simple explanation of our request and our play so after that it will get the replay from him so after that it will get the replay from him the sender after that the random data and then the ICMP and then the source mag is 1.4 and then the destination mag is 1.2 and then the source IP address of source mag of 44444 and destination mag address is what is it 2222 after that it will after that it will go and then I will get the replay from him ok so this is a simple explanation ping request and ping replay ok ping request and ping replay ok so this is a basic concept of ARP so now we are know that so what is the inside what is the same network we are know that right now so what is the same network or we are know that so now we are going to discuss about these things are practically do that so now i go to the packet tracer so i really i, I also configured with them so so now i want to do go in this system go in this machine mm, I, I i close and open it again no problem so it will configure its previous cache here right now so that's the reason why I close it. So I'll open it freshly. Newly freshly and opening it, open it again. So now here is freshly configured right now. So I don't ping anything to anyone. Anything to anyone. So here it is fresh. So now I want to clearly explain these things also. That's the reason why I'll close it and open it again. So I'll go to this system and desktop and run command. So what is it? IP address ping sorry ip config right so ip config what is it ip address of it 192.168.1.2 and the default network default gateway is also here so what is it it's a 168.1.1 it's a default gateway you know the right now the default gateway what is the purpose of default gateway you know the right so you don't know the what is the default gateway purpose means you go and watch the videos videos previous videos and then and then what is and then what is whatever the use of the default gateway you know that right now so so now we are going to going to what is the uh, what is the uh, uh, what is the 1.2 ARP table what what whatever the data is here so ARP space hyphen A this is a ARP table command and here it is no ARP entries found so here it is no no ARP entries found right now here so now I want to do ping something here right now so I wanted to ping ping 190 here it is same network right? same network right so now I wanted to ping 1.2 to 1.3 here so after that we will discuss about these things also we are discuss about these things so now we are discuss about same network right so that's the reason behind I will ping 1.2 to 1.3 only so 1.192.168.1.3 so I'll send send him the replay and replay from him. Okay, I'll get the replay from him. So how will get the replay? So now I go to the op table a or p space hyphen a. So it's magically happened. What is it? The internal MAC address, the internal IP address is 192.168.1.3. Here it is a physical MAC address of here and it is dynamically happened. So what is it here? So the 1.2 PC, the 1.2 PC 
have right now the 1.3 MAC address here. So after that if you want to ping 1.3 means here the data here. So the R table having the data. So that's the reason behind the, this PC don't want to send R request right now. So that's the reason behind the R, R, bit, R, R will be happen. So this R will the R table is not going anywhere because so some some depends upon the situation so we are not right now some depends upon the situation here is a mac address we are we are manually configured right now here so now i want to do change change it here means so i'll i'll manually go and change the change the ip address of 1.3 means yeah, here it is i go to the change go and change the ip configurations and then i uh, here it is 1.3 now i want to give him i want to give him the ip address of 1.7 means it will take no problem it will take I, it will take here it is 1.7 now i go to go to this pc and ping sorry ip config ip config here it is a 1.7 right now so now i want to do now i want to ping 1.7 means 1.7 means here it is sending the freshly going to the freshly going to ip address because the ip address is fresh ip address not no not knowing ip address it's a fresh ip address right now so fresh ip address means it will go and send the ARP request after that it will get the mac address and then it will updating the updating the updating the internal internal ARP table so here it is a ARP table the physical address is same but it's a ip address it, it will not matching means the ARP but ARP table it will replying it's a reverse arp so it, it is not a reverse arp it's a garp grab grab means garp means it will not updating means it will update again and again and again it will do it will not showing it will not connecting with these devices means after that it will connecting with them so uh, this is the wonderful concept of do that right now so now you want to ping 192.168.1.7 right now here 1.7 right so that's the reason why i'll ping that i'll get the replay from him so how so i wanted to know what is our address of it what what's our address of iphone a so here it is 1.192.168 or 1.3 also is same mac address 192.168.1.7 it's also having the same mac address how will possible to do that right now here so here it is having some doubts so now we want to do configure with them after that you will clearly understand what is the exact topic here so i want to do connect with another pc here okay and then it will connect with the wires cables okay i'll connect with those wires okay now it's configured with what's it here it is this pc is 1.3 this pc this pc is 1.2 right now here this pc is 1.2 this pc is 1.3 right this is is one so i i really real you are really confusing right now here so i i take the snap and clearly explain what is what what is exactly happening here so okay skipping tool So, so now we are going to discuss about these things okay fine so first of all these two setup is here first of all these two interface is here at the time this ip address is 1.2 this one is ip address is 1.3 so 1.2 having the r table right now here 1.3 the mac address of 333 MAC address table so here it is 1.3 MAC address table and then after that I will manually configure this one it's changed to 1.3 to 1.7 here it is not 1.3 after that I will go after that I will go manually this PC and then 
records the ping records same ping ping address and this ping address is sending to him and then it, it will reply to him so what is the mac address right now the 1.7 is also 1.7 is also having 3333 so 1.7 that person also having 1.3333 so now i want now i i attached with this computer right now here so i want to do configure with 1.3 means what is going up here what is the exact what is the exact destination the computer will know the right up here so the our request will sending means so so here i setting here here i configured with new pc i set the pc ip address is 1.3 means so now i manually go this pc and again manually go in this pc and again send the ping request means so what will happening here right now so here it's sending them um, sending it uh, send, sending based on the mac address only sending the sending the basic mac address only so sending the basic mac address means here it is 1.3 it's configured with 3333 right now so that's the reason behind the packet sending to him sending to him and then it will drop the packet so what is the exact reason though it is here it is not 1.3 it's changed already it's changed means what is the changeable ip address what is the changeable ip address 1.7 so that's that's happening it's sending that's that's the reason behind it will send the uh, cancellation packet so now the pc no so here it is not not configured right now so here we'll erase the erase the 1.3 and then after that it will it will send the arp request and then after that it will send the arp request to broadcast to all broadcast to all what is where is the 1.3 so where is the 1.3 means here it is a 1.3 so here it is a 1.3 and here open the mac address and here is the destination of 1.3 means this person is replying to him the arp reply will come arp reply will come means the ping packet is going and then reply will come so after that the pc know that what is a 1.3 mac address is changed so 777 though 1.3 mac address is now changeable right now so we are going to discuss about practically right now here so go that so, so you um i really <coughs> enjoy this session so what is the exact meaning here here it is 1.3 means 1.3 it's 777 so now the now it's updated now it's our table is updated right now so we are going to discuss about this practically right now here so here it is the ip address of what here it is the ip here, here we are know the right now so the same scenario here happening here 1.3 mac address is same and then the 1.7 mac address is also same so now i want to do configure this one right now here so i want to go display and then ip config static 192.168.1.3 here and then 255.255 and 192.168.1.1 okay so i can't figure right now here so here it is 1.3 here it is this one is 1.7 this is 1.3 so here is 1.2 so now we want to go in 1.3 means what will happening here right now we will see so in 192.168.1.3 so i'll paste it here i'll send i'll get the reply from 1.3 so how so what is the reason behind so this reason that's a fraction of second you will do that all all the arp request also do that so 1.3 sending to him 1.7 is 1.7 is not replying means the arp request again sending the the 1.2 sending the arp request to broadcast all and then the 1.3 will unicast the bracket and then after that it will get the mac address of it so we will check now our table a r p hyphen a so now here it is arp address will change right now here so before that the before that the arp address 192.168.1.3 the mac address is changed right now 1.7 is already having the 1.7 mac address so here it is also have right now so, so we are we are discuss about these things okay so before that 192.168.1.3 it's the same mac address right now here so now i want to change means so here it is the changeable mac address this is a garp so garp means GRB means you are updating or uh, updating automatically. You will depend depend upon the situations. So this is a or this is a or pan same network. So we are we are uh, 
uh, we are slowly we are discuss about what is the exact meaning of hot request on what we are what we are doing what is the exact exact uh, definition we are know that right now here so what is the arp so now we are quickly recap what what we are knowing right now here so i will go to that okay okay what is the arp arp means hot request so you are you don't know what is the exact MAC address of him so that's the reason begin the ARP, ARP will be sent the broadcast and then it will getting the replay from him to unicast it replay from him to unicast and then the ARP, ARP or and then every packet sending sending means the ARP table will have ARP, ARP table will performing some role the ARP table will performing some role the ARP table is wrong means the PC will automatically update the ARP table. Okay, so this is a basic concept of ARP, and then what? And then we will practical practically do that. It's a Cisco packet packet tracer. We are also going to network, and then it will easily download and then configure that. It it, it will easy to do that right now here. So this is uh, I end the meeting here. This is a ARP table, and then ARP request also do that. So. Uh, please take the notes and all these things also and then um, uh, we will see the next class uh, keep learning keep keep take the notes and then you don't uh, you don't know what is the exact uh, exact meaning of this uh, course means please again to watch the video and then and then watch the video clearly understand what is the topic uh, we are what we are going to uh, what we are going to discuss about what what we are seeing what we are doing what we are uh, what is the exact here me exact uh, role the ARP will be happening here. So uh, we are we are know that right now what is the concept here. After that we will take the note. It will easily understand the what is what we are writing right now. So that's the reason again we will take and then after that it will uh, you will, first of all first of all you will watch the video and then after that it will take uh, take the notes and then after that you will get them more knowledge. So um, don't want to waste your time. So um, I'll end the meeting here. Bye bye. We are <laughs> see another class right now. So, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you so much.